I spent the last four or five days fully exploring my Lego survival world. For today's video, I'm going to show you everything that I found while exploring. We're going to take a look at some rare POIs. I also want to show some secret treasure rooms. But first, I want to show what the Lego world looks like when zoomed all the way out. So here's one example of what a Lego world could look like. For those who don't know, the Lego world is about 19 to 20 times the size of a BR map. I found this image on Reddit, so this isn't my world, but hopefully that gives you a good idea of what the Lego worlds look like when zoomed all the way out. Kinda wish we could zoom out when looking at our own map, or maybe be able to craft the map that allows you to see your entire world. Anyways, I also wanted to quickly show what happens when you get to the edge of your Lego world. When it comes to my Lego world specifically, about 40 to 50% of that is water. And I haven't checked out everybody's seed, but that's most likely where your map ends. It's somewhere out there in the water. So I decided to swim out there. Not the best decision I ever made, but I decided to go ahead and swim out there just so we could see what would happen. Anyways, once you swim to a certain point, you'll end up swimming into this invisible boundary. When I pulled up my map, it would no longer move left or down. So it's not possible to move your map any further once you get to the edge. So you're not gonna be able to swim beyond a certain point. And you're also not gonna be able to move your map beyond that point. So once I got to the very bottom left of my world, I could no longer swim to the left or to the bottom. I was pretty much just swimming in place. So that's what the edge of the map looks like. If you do plan on fully exploring your map, as well as the oceans around your map, you may wanna use an airship because swimming is really slow. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to avoid doing is continuing to swim into the invisible barrier. I noticed one time when I did it, everything in my inventory disappeared and my map also bugged out. Basically, it wouldn't show me which direction I was facing and I sort of got lost out there. I was completely surrounded by water. I basically got stranded in the middle of the ocean. So once you run into the barrier, you're going to want to stop and go in a different direction. So yeah, that's what the edge of the map looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the rarest locations I could find while I was exploring. And the first one we're going to take a look at are the secret treasure rooms. Now inside every cave, there's a chance you can see a wall that looks like this that has cracks in it. And this is a grasslands cave. But whenever you see a wall that has cracks in it, you're going to want to destroy that wall with your pickaxe because behind that wall, there's going to be a lot of loot. So since we were in the grasslands cave in this example, when we destroyed that cracked wall, we ended up going into a room that has both knot root and marble. And we also got four treasure chests in this room. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got from each of the chests. Uh, the loot wasn't really all that great. But yeah, that's everything we got from the secret treasure room in the grasslands cave. I also want to show what I got in the desert cave. And this is the wall you're going to want to look out for when you're in the desert cave. But once we destroyed that, we went into a room that has a bunch of copper on the wall. I assume it's also possible to find ruby as well as obsidian. But we just got copper in this example. And we also got two treasure chests in this room. So that's everything we got from the dry valley cave. And here's what the hidden treasure room is going to look like in a Frostlands cave. So just destroy the cracked ice if you see any. And when we went in there, we had both iron and sapphire on the walls. And we also had two treasure chests. So yeah, you can find this little hidden secret treasure room in any biome. All you have to do is keep an eye out for those cracked walls. Now this next location has a crashed Titan Nightmare Shark Ship. And the reason I consider this to be sort of a rare location is because I only found like three or four of them in total while exploring my world. I found most of them in the shore biome, but I believe I also found one that was located near the grasslands. And basically it just has a bunch of pieces of a broken ship. So here's what the front of it looks like. You see a shark's head with the teeth. And I'm also gonna show what it looks like when it's fully assembled. But first I wanna show you the pieces you'll find in this location. I believe this is the body of the ship and you can actually fit in there. I believe this could be like a potential engine maybe. Here's where you sit at in this shark ship. Also has a big fin on top of it. And here's the rear or the end of the ship. Looks like a fish tail. So those are all the different pieces like I said, I do want to show what it looks like when it's fully assembled. So I found this picture on Twitter. 
So yeah, this is what that Titan Nightmare Shark ship is supposed to look like. Honestly, after swimming around my entire world, I hope they give us blueprints similar to how they do with pre-built houses. Maybe they can allow us to build a pre-built ship because I feel like that would have made exploring the oceans a lot easier. But yeah, this is one of the POIs I found while exploring. At each of the shark locations, there were a couple of chests as well. But just like with all the other chests, the loot wasn't really that great. But I believe I found a total of four different shark ships while exploring my world. So that's why I would consider it to be one of the rare locations. Another rare location I found was one that has the Dur Burger. And I believe I found a total of four different Dur Burger locations in my world. So that's why I would consider this to be sort of another rare location. Unlike the other ones though, I could only find one chest with each of the Dur Burgers. So it's not really a lot of loot. I believe I found them in the shore biome as well as the desert biome. There's also a chance you could find them in the grasslands biome. I wasn't able to find them in the frostlands though, but that's another rare POI I found while exploring. Now this next one is probably the rarest out of all of the locations we're gonna take a look at today because I could only find one of these and I found it in the desert biome. And it's basically like a fish thick statue. It almost looks like an Easter Island head, but with fish sticks face. And I was only able to find one chest at this location. I wonder if it's connected to a body underground. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, I could only find one of these. So definitely a rare location. But yeah, that's what the fish stick Easter Island head looks like. I was also able to find a couple of bunkers. I found one in the Frostlands and I found the other one in the shore area. Those were the only two that I found in my entire world. So that's why I consider it a rare location. When I destroyed it, there actually wasn't a bunker underneath it though. I'm kind of wishing they actually put a real bunker underneath it. Just to show you an example of what it might look like. Here's a bunker that's in Save the World. As you can tell, it looks ex almost exactly the same from the outside. But here's what the inside of that bunker looks like. I, I do expect them to make changes to Lego Fortnite in the future. Hopefully they can add some locations like this. I think that would be pretty cool. But for now, if you ever come across these, you may want to avoid destroying it because there's not actually a bunker underneath it. And like I said, I can only find two of these, so it's kind of rare. Okay, now can somebody please explain what the hell's going on in this next clip? Look how tiny this chest is. Why is it so damn tiny? What is this, a chest for ants? <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, this is the only tiny chest I ever found while exploring. I'm assuming it's because of a bug or something. I don't know, but this is the size of a normal chest. And when we compare it to the one that we found, it's like way bigger. So yeah, I mean, there wasn't really anything special about the loot. I didn't have like tiny loot in there or anything, but I thought that was pretty cool seeing this little bitty ass chest out there. I was sort of hoping I would get little loot from it, but unfortunately there was no tiny loot. I also found some sunken treasure. Well, technically, it is sort of underwater, right? So, I mean, this is the only thing I could find under the water other than like rocks and seashells. They really don't have anything underwater. So don't waste your time looking under there. But I was able to find this chest that was sort of under the water. So I guess technically there is a chance you can find some sunken treasure in your world. But that was the only thing I could find underwater. So that's why I consider it to be sort of rare. I also found this Peter Griffin rock. <laughs> Look, people, I've been exploring for hours now. I'm, I'm looking for anything at this point. Oh, and look, here's another Peter Griffin rock. <laughs> but yeah, Peter Griffin rock, people. A couple other things I wanted to show before I go. Some locations have an abundance of a specific type of creature. So in this first example, you'll notice there's like a ton of spiders here. In this next example, we had a lot of chickens. And I believe there is also some locations where you can have a ton of Roly poly spawn in. So that's something I noticed while exploring. Some of the locations will have an abundance of a specific type of creature. Obviously, if you go to the different abandoned houses, cabins, castles, there's a chance you could find legendary survivors. In this example, we found frozen fish stick in a Frostlands biome. In this next example, we found crystal in the desert biome. But those were a couple of the ones that I found. And the last thing I want to show are some of the rare events that can trigger. Sometimes you can find llamas. You can also find supply drops. 
All you have to do is look out for the blue smoke. And I'll go ahead and show the loot I got from that as well. And you can shoot down the supply drop. If you have a crossbow, just shoot at the balloon. But yeah, there's everything I got from the supply drop. And there's also a rainbow. And for those who don't know, when you dance on the rainbow, it'll drop loot. And you can get loot from this one as well. All you have to do is build up to the cloud and then dance with the other Legos that are up there. And as soon as you do that, it'll drop loot. And those are some of the rare events that can happen. Also, try to pick up your loot because animals will eat it if you keep it laying around for too long. The hungry bastards. And that's pretty much all of the rare locations, POIs, and events I could find after fully exploring my world. Let me know in the comments, which of these rare locations was your favorite? Also, before I go, I did want to give a huge, humongo, bongo, gigantic, grande shout out to everybody who's been using Creator Code A1. And just want to say thank you for your support. Anyways, I hope y'all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.